In this series, we want to help you choose and get to know the dog that really suits you. In each part, we will introduce a dog breed and briefly tell you the seven most important things that can be decisive in your decision. To stay on top of the series and get instant notifications of new parts, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. This part will be about the dog breed, the Yorkshire Terrier, who are for most people is a sweeties, the ideal small companion dog but very few know about his combative past and tough nature. To know what it is up to you to choose a Yorkshire Terrier, let's take a look at the seven points that a Yorkshire Terrier buyer should consider very carefully before the decision. The final point will also reveal whether the Yorkshire Terrier is an ideal choice for a novice dog owner or not. 1. The Brief History of the Yorkshire Terrier To understand the history of the Yorkie, we need to turn back to the English history of the mid-1800s, where the Industrial Revolution was underway and hundreds of thousands of people were moving to increasingly crowded cities and industrial centers. In these places, rats and other pests multiplied due to the not very hygienic conditions, so there was a constant need for a tough little-sized dog that get in everywhere, even to holes, and was hard and combative enough to fight even more rats at the same time. The exact origin of the Yorkie is unknown, but what is certain is that it was formed from small terriers and used very effectively to control rodents in mills, mines, and workers' homes. After their increasing popularity, the aristocracy also discovered them, but not as hunters, but rather like companion dogs. Their name, as we know today, was first used in 1874. 2. The Personality of the Yorkshire Terrier The Yorkshire Terrier is not a scary type, they are real tough guys because of their past. Despite their small stature, they inherited a tremendous fighting spirits and will from their ancestors, plus they tend to act independently. A particularly good signal dog, next to a Yorkie you can't just sneak in, they are alert and active, they warn their owners about everything. However, in addition to this, they are also excellent as companion dogs, their popularity is not accidental, they are extremely lovable in a family circle, it is kind and in some cases definitely hidden. However, they are veer afraid of challenging other dogs, because of their boundless self-confidence, they tends to go out with dogs much bigger than them, and behave in a dominant way, which of course a responsible owner cannot allow. 3. Size and Coat of the Yorkshire Terrier the Yorkies are one of the smallest dogs in the world, weighing between 2 and 3.2 kilograms and a typical height between 18 and 23 centimeters. The breed standard allows for a single color variation, which is the steel gray color with tan markings. Interestingly, Yorkies are born in black and it becomes clear what they are if they grow. The texture of their fur is very similar to human hair, silky, cold by the touch, without undercoat, which makes this breed completely unsuitable for keeping them outdoors. Their hair is otherwise long and straight, if not trimmed and said to be hypoallergenic. 4. Trainability of the Yorkshire Terrier The Yorkshire Terrier is a smart, intelligent and extremely sensitive dog, learning and adapting quickly, but also prone to stubbornness and due to their terrier ancestors. Due to their small nature, they are, of course, not suitable for guard work or for tasks with persistent movement, but it is easy to teach them anything that is essential for a smooth coexistence with them. They are a very alert breed, so they tend to bark and sound constantly, getting them quit this habit is one of the most difficult and challenging tasks in their case. 5. The Activity of the Yorkshire Terrier Due to the dwarf size of the Yorkie, they can be easily kept even in a small places, even in an apartments, so in this respect they are really ideal family dogs and companion dogs. Of course, they also love to run outdoors, but long and hard work cannot be expected from them, this kind of work is not for them. The Yorkie's activity needs are perfectly met by one or two short walks a day that last no longer than 20 to 30 minutes. At a young age, large height differences should be avoided, like jumping off an armchairs or sofas, which can be very detrimental to their still developing joints. 6. Health and Lifespan of the Yorkshire Terrier Yorkshire Terriers has a long lifespan, with 15 to 16 years in average. With regard to the number of characteristic diseases, the range of eye problems stands out, like dry eyes, ingrown eyelashes in the eyes and cataracts in their old age. Elbow and kneecap sprains also occur among them, 
this should be handled with special attention. Due to their very small mouth size, they are more prone than average to dental plagues, which can lead to tooth loss above a certain level. 7. And finally, the last question, are Yorkshire Terriers ideal for a novice dog owners? The answer to this question is that, yes, we think it's so. The Yorkshire Terrier can be controlled with little experience, does not require much exercise, and can be a nice companion for a young person who chooses them as their first dog. All of this, of course, doesn't mean that a Yorkie can't be spoiled, and the lack of training and control isn't good for this breed either, which is often the case among companion dog keepers. Although their ancestors earned their meat with hard fights and work, this miniature dog breed, who once specialized in rodent extermination, can now be a much more smooth-natured and pleasant pets in everyday life.